We now return to your regularly scheduled Dirt 4, already in progress. Bleep Sterling Forest time. We've got the first two done. We just need to have no penalties and no recoveries. Which kind of go hand in hand, I suppose. Uh, let's definitely repair the vehicle. Because there might have been something weird going on there. Uh, it doesn't recommend anything. Really? Really? Okay. I guess we just assumed it was a stone. No surprises. Good luck out there. All right, no surprises. We got next opponent is Lenemi. Four, three, two, one, go. Nobody staring into my eyeballs this time. That front-wheel drive launch steer weirdness. And right four. This is really, really tight section here. Right six. Narrower and roads than we've seen. I went run like full Dip rocky six, gravel. Left six over crest. Dip. A little bit of dirt. Post, kind of like Turn, half and half, I suppose. Left, <laughs> Whoops. I like that the ambulances are like a mental cue for me now. Oh, ambulance must be a uh, must be a hairpin coming up. I know what your trolley ambulances are up to. I know. Over bumps. It's very early, but I gotta say, I'm loving the new stages. I'm loving the the more open stages. I'm sure there will be tight ones. I'm sure there will be areas of. Very difficult, narrow sections. Right four long, keep in. 60. But I like the ability to actually put the gas down for extended periods of time. Left Feels five, good. 60. To finish. There's a finish. Let's okay, back off a little bit at the end there. That was a good stage. A little awkward at the beginning. Oh no. Hopefully I stopped in time there. <laughs> Perfect. Good job. Well done. Perfect. Yeah, that felt really good, other than the little bobble at the beginning. Upload that result. First place. We are so good. Get your phone out of portrait mode, you jerks. Oh, you're terrible. You're terrible, and you're doing things at the same time. Codemasters will someday understand what a person does and how they react. <laughs> oh, man. I think, I think what we need, we need the Codemasters development team to go off and play some Sims for a while. <laughs> and they need to see how, how people interact with people. $41,000 credits, whatever they are. We are rich. Again. I'm a tenderfoot. You know, sometimes I do get a little bit of a tenderfoot. Right, right at the base of the heel. <laughs> All right, championship complete. Do we get uh, stuff for that too, or no? First place championship for Talk Motorsports. Wave to the crowd. Uh, looks like that wasn't for money. Whatever. Okay, so that is the uh, the A class is done. Now we're up to R3, international R3. And we have a loaner car only available for that. We ha we can use our kit car for this one, this one, and this one. So that, that's not a terrible purchase, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and do... Let's do this one. Euro select... Euro sealed. I don't want to... I keep saying select there. That is a good looking car. <laughs> I like that car. Uh, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Four stages in Spain. New location. Tarragona, Spain. Looking good. First impression for Elonex. Finish the event in first place. Wow, okay. That's, <laughs> that's, um, that's a bold claim there. First event in the car. Yeah, I just, I just want you to go win. That's all. How could you ask for anything more? Vehicle upgrades. Now that you own your own racing team, you can manage the parts that are fitted to your vehicle before the event starts. 
It's really important to keep your vehicle in great condition and avoid large repair bills. Uh, okay, upgrade vehicle. What, what, what is all this business? The quality is C and D on all of our parts. So this is stuff that will wear out. So like if I choose brakes, oh, I'll need R and D and stuff like that to, to upgrade them. Yep, what about the clutch? Yep, differential. So basically we can't actually upgrade anything it looks like. Interesting. Uh, but that's something that will be in the future. Event news, dust storms inbound. Freak dust storms. I like the use of the word freak there. Freak dust storms are possible. Huh. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, brake bias. Brake bias. 70%? Yeah, let's go for the 62%. Cool. Alright, never driven on this stage before, never driven on the asphalt right, before. Good position. What and could go wrong? Five, there we go. Four, three, Sounds the same. Two, one, go. Left three, 60. That torque steer. Right four, that high revving engine. And left oh, it two, sounds, through dip. sounds so amazing, 80, it revs right so one, high. 80, right four over crest. 60. Asphalt physics feel different. Right Definitely much different. And open Again, still feeling a bit of the wander. And right one After long. this recording session, I may go ahead and uh, start tweaking left some force feedback, feedback settings. Keep right over crest. Left three, six. Not that it's bad. Right it's just a little wandery. Into left three. And bump right four. Oh, I could tell. I'm gonna love six. Spain already. These roads are amazing. Into open hairpin left, long, 60. This, this right totally six, makes up for not having 80. hill climb. Left six over crest. And yeah, right this four. is this is great. Just cutting through, left cutting through the roads. Into right four, through dip, into left it's kind of the long, atmosphere we never had right in Dirt six. Rally. Left four, through dip. Keep right over crest. Left three. No hairpins either so far. Right four. Fast flowing and roads. Right Alright, little understeer there. Into left six. Left six over crest. Get used to the right handbrake right with it. Okay, right thought I was gonna lose it there. Into left three. Three and here. Right four. And left six. Oh, I made the right choice, for sure. I love this car. And I am loving these asphalt physics. To the finish. That, that was, uh, that was borderline sexual right there. <laughs> I, I thoroughly enjoyed that. Awesome result. That was unbeatable. The, I will, I will give you that this time. That was great. Oh man, that 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 gave me goosebumps. That felt so good. I really, really enjoyed that. That was very, very good. Let's do one more stage, and then maybe we'll call it a day. Um, yeah, that that was just really great. Let's keep it up. All right, well we got our finisher event in first place on the line here for 3,200 credits. Let's see if we can continue that up. Uh, continue that up, or continue that on. Sure, one of those. I don't know how we're placing overall, but I think pretty well. I'm ready. I am ready. Hopefully this stage is just as much fun. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Off we go. Spin the tires a little bit more. Oh, curb. <laughs> a little, little overexcited there. Definitely a little bit tighter here. The roads, that is, not the car. It's a front wheel drive car. It's always going to be understeering on throttle. Oh, these roads. Ay, ay, ay. 
Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I got a little carried away, so. Okay. Alright. Calm it down. Bring it down a notch here. Much tighter roads than the first stage. Gotta give them the respect they deserve. Okay. Yeah, I feel like this is maybe the section where the R4 cars would have an advantage, too. First hairpin. Pretty open, though. Yeah, no need for handbrake. Spin spinning those front tires out of the turns. So much fun. Okay, I feel like we're making up some time here. It's tight turns. Not really this car's strong suit. Let's see if we get a green sector here. That felt great right there. Open hairpin. Left two. Wow, it was not. It was red. And a right six I am very surprised by that. And a right six over that turn's tricky. Could have right got caught out by that one. Caught out? Opens, sure, that's a turn now. And right three, 60. Curb, all right. Fine. Right six into left one. Ball. Turning Open in a little bit right. earlier, I think. Left four, 60. Yeah, you gotta left watch six. that tire spin on exit. Into right four, yeah, there was a green. Into caution, left four. Immediate caution, right three, left four. four. Crest, right one, crest, left two. And left Deceptive four. turns. And right three. It deceived me. And thinking the wrong way, five, but it deceived 60. me. Six, Ooh, those are fun. Right Dipping the tire off the track. Open the road. It's not a track. A left Stage. Right one, crest. Left two. And left right. one. And right three. Really tight and section one. again. Too much fun. To All right. Control. Made up for our mistake early. Had to really relearn the car there in the tight sections. A little bit different than it was on that first stage for sure. Uh, still awesome result. really enjoyable that though. Was unbeatable. All right. Seriously, we could have recorded more than one voice line for the end of the stage though. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for? Um... Well, I think that's not too much to ask for for an episode. We will pick up here in this event next time. Hope you guys are enjoying Dirt 4. I, so far, am definitely enjoying it. And uh, I'm very glad that I picked the car that I did. And so far, Spain's looking to be my favorite. Of the two places I've been so far, <laughs> Spain's looking real good. All right, well, that is the end of the footage of my first recording session here in Dirt 4. Today is a new day, and it's actually exactly one week later since I recorded that first bit. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to record any more through the week, but I plan to record a good bit tonight. So we can have some more episodes this week. Uh, I've gotten quite a few comments on the videos. Seems like people are real excited about Dirt 4 here. And as am I. Really enjoying it so far. We have some things to review before I get too far along here, and we resume our rally in our kit car. Let's see, one of the things I would like to look at is under input settings. And where would we find something like the uh, force feedback settings? All right, 227, vibration and feedback. I would like a little bit more steering center force. Let's do 120 on that. Not a huge change but just something to give me a little bit more feeling there. And I would like a little bit more, what's the difference between wheel and tire friction? 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Who knows? But a little bit more tire friction as well. And we'll apply those. Let's see. Also, I think for today, for this session, let's go into our team. It was noted that uh, under the engineer, I had a free, free B-grade engineer that I could choose. And I chose a, a I think, not free. P possibly was free, but, but not free. Um, E-engineer. This is for six championships, very early in the game. I don't think we need ourselves a B engineer at all. And I really do believe it. Everybody deserves a chance. Everybody should have a shot at being an engineer. So we're gonna stick with that decision. But under the co-driver, on the uh, on the theme, I'm gonna try the uh, the Mr. Grist uh, co-driver. Nikki Grist will take over the duties for us today. And maybe we'll at least have the different, you know, voice lines either way. Um, so that uh, that we can not get tired of them. <laughs> we'll give it a try. But in our career, let's continue in Tarragona, Spain, which I have so far really been enjoying. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit to get back in here. Having a week in between recording sessions is uh, making it harder on myself. But I've had a lot going on, as you've seen on the channel, a lot going on at the moment, so getting it done when I can. Also, I adjusted mic stuff in between recording sessions here. Unfortunately, I had the mic gain too high for that first recording session, so uh, apologies for any clipping that was going on there. Let's see, we're doing okay on this, of uh, finishing first for our sponsor. We've learned some things here as well. Let's see, can we continue? So, repair vehicle, we did have a little bit of an issue there. Let's see, let's actually inspect our car. Uh, inspecting takes time, is that what I'm seeing here? I want to go through some of this a little bit more in depth, because I felt like I, I had overall skipped things. So I may have missed out on some of the some of the more uh, fine-tuning options available to us here. Uh, so under chassis, we can do a standard fix, we can do a quick fix. Uh, standard will take up three minutes, about four minutes. Under drivetrain, there's no visible wear and no visible damage. Uh, no vi visible damage to the power unit. So what happens if we say inspect the, the power unit? Uh, inspecting the power unit will enable your team to provide exact time on how long it will take to complete repairs. I just, I'm just going to do it. Okay, so we did it. Uh, we can also clean the vehicle, which will make our sponsor happy, apparently. Sure. Uh, we have the time available. So now let's look at our power unit. Perhaps we won't see that until after. Uh, let's confirm those repairs. All right, so we did an inspection, which is free, but maybe that will help us more the next time we're here? I don't know. <laughs> I've made some comments about Codemasters and their user interfaces. It's possibly to do just with the way that my brain works, but uh, I've, I've really always struggled with with Codemasters user interfaces, they're just not intuitive for me. I miss a lot of things that may seem really obvious to you, but for me, they just don't read very clearly. Uh, targets, we're, we're on target for our targets. Tune vehicle, there's a lot of options in tuning. Let's go to braking force. I'm gonna move it back. Oh, it really, oh, there's brake bias. Oh, that's brake. Pressure. Okay, so I definitely already had it back. I would like a little bit more camber in the front. I felt as though it could probably handle a bit more. Um, other than that... I mean, it wasn't really that understeery. So, I don't know if I really need more rear ARB, and it does have some in it. So, let's just apply those. And yeah, let's try to get back into it here. 
It's going to take shouldn't have too much a second, Just I'm sure. Alright, I will. Five, yes. Start in second here. Alright. Whoa, three. curb! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, alright. Let me... Let me adjust for a moment here. Yeah, I was probably not prepared. I should have. I should have done a warm-up stage off-camera. Because not only was I not really warmed up, but my steering wheel's out of calibration. Because <laughs> I haven't used it yet. But I'm getting it there now. All I had to do was get min and max and everything. People have noted that the difficulty seems too easy. But I think that's just a, a main difference between this game and Dirt Rally is that it eases you in versus Dirt Rally just shoves you into, you know, real rally courses and uh, it was just a much less forgiving onset. I don't really know what to do with this hairpin. It's not wide enough to really swing the back end. Alright, I'm starting to get my, my feet under me, but my brakes are still out of calibration. <laughs> Feels like I got maybe too much rear brake bias in it. It's really swinging the rear end around, but I think that's because I'm getting basically full brake pressure whenever I touch the brake pedal. Oh, that was a little slidey. His voice is not quite as sharp, so I think it's actually a little harder for me to hear over the car. It's very soothing. It's a very strange sensation to have a co-driver with a soothing voice. Alright, there we go. I finally got the brake pedal all the way down so it's calibrated. We're doing fine on time, though. Well, too much brake on up. It almost makes me wonder if a reduced pressure would help. Like, maybe I've got too much pressure on it? Because I'm locking up these brakes a lot. Hairpins are always tough in a front-wheel drive car. Actually, I'm really not used to these hairpins that are narrow. The hairpins at like Monaco and Dirt Rally always seem to have enough room to swing around in. It's like there. I caught curb with the like right rear of the car. Send us into that. It's actually a little bit Monaco like right here. I have to say, I'm still really enjoying these stages. This is something we. It's a combination we never saw under Rally is fast flowing asphalt. It seems like the longest stage we've done so far. Oh wow, that's really tight. We're in like a city now. Again, this is stuff I've never seen. I've never, never driven in before. Saved it. Spin them front tires. Slide, slide, slide. All right. Right six. Left six. Okay. That's another thing, the big banking in these hairpins is much different. And overall the banking in the turns. Germany is so flat. Monaco had a little bit of it, but there was no grip to the snow and the ice. Oh, cut. Has there been any turns I could? Bring it to the marshals, we've learned. We know what to do here now. Okay. Hey, Marshall. Oh, am I not far enough? Alright, 
There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Great All right. Result. Well done. I think that was a pretty good result. And, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if there's a huge difference between the co-drivers, but I didn't mind... I didn't mind his calls at all. Maybe just a little harder to hear. I'm gonna go in the options right now, actually, and turn down the car audio. Engine, yeah, let's go even a little bit further. Let's go down to like 70. Okay, that change in the books. Let's go ahead and continue. I think there's one last stage, or I'm not sure what we have here. Yeah, last stage, three miles. Three miles doesn't seem like it's very long, but uh, I don't know how long that last one was. Pretty good elevation change in this one, huh? We're going downhill. I like that map style. That's pretty good. I like that. It gives you a little bit more of a view of what you're what you're headed up against here. Beep. Still in first. We're doing fine there. Uh, running order. We are the leader. We're going out first of the kit cars. I think we're leading overall. Okay, there's been a crash on the stage. Just be aware. Okay, cool. Well, that's... I mean, that's not cool, sorry. <laughs> but uh, that's something we haven't heard before. Five, four, From here. three, two, one, go. Then three, sixteen. And here we go. Yeah, then second three. gear is definitely the gear to start in. And right three long, opens Titans. Opens and Titans. And left Where's the Titan? 80. Left five. This is reminding me a little bit more of the first stage we did here. Right five. Which I really left five. loved. Left six forty. Right three through dead. Granted, that was a week ago. <laughs> right one through dead. Ooh, easy now. And left four. Left six over crest. And right four. Sixty. Easy, easy. That seems like a right easy turn to go off of. 80. Left five over bump. Sixty. Right six. Left Gosh, six are so and much right four, fun. <laughs> Into right cliff. Three over First cliff. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh my. Okay, now apparently in this game, they will indeed let you try to get it back yourself, but I think we might have to recover ourselves here. Yeah, they don't force you to recover like they did in Dirt Rally, which is nice. I don't know that we're going to get up that embankment. Did it! Nice, okay. Okay, but we've we've probably surrendered our win. <laughs> that's, that's possible. Although we might have had a big lead. Even though that was a big off and a terrible thing, it just feels much less ragey in that it doesn't automatically reset you as soon as, soon as you go off. We got some pretty good damage to the car, but I think it's still very much so drivable. I certainly gave myself a big challenge stepping right back into this with no warm-up. Okay. Broken windshield on this car is not too bad. Okay, here's the broken car. Where is it? And I see them waving at me, which is really neat. Subarus? Unreliable Subarus. <laughs> Ooh, got caught in the curve a little bit there. Yeah, got her. Very sharp downhill there. Into right four long, Titans. Into caution, left four. Immediate right three over crest. Like the skid marks there, right kind of giving me a warning of a tough turn. Into right four. That wasn't as tight as I thought it was. And right three long, opens Titans. Guardrail. And left one, don't cut. 150. Left four. Cut. Can I run into the guardrail? You didn't say anything about that. And right six over crest. Left three over crest. Into right four through dip. Into left yeah, very three long. Medium speed into turns right in this six, one. Not quite as 60. fast as that first stage. That I really loved. I made up a ton of time. Whoa, no. Oh dear. 
Well, that was something. Can we make it there in five seconds? I don't know. Yeah, we're here. I don't know if Great I counted work. that. We finished in the top five of the card class. We finished in the top five of the class in this stage or overall? I'm hoping overall we did fine. Event standings are still first. Okay. Because we do have restarts available to us. But, um... I don't think I feel the need to use one there. That was a pretty rough one, though. I, I, I certainly didn't do very well, that one. But we win overall. Which is nice. We made our sponsor happy. So we got some money. Much less team reductions with our own car. 81,000 credits. We're level 8. We're hopeful. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> and now we're noteworthy. Alright. That's all things. But that should be enough for this episode. Thank you, as always, for watching. Hope you're enjoying, and I will see you next time when we will probably take our our kit car to a different rally. Mm -hmm.